Now Ruby's loved ones and community are left grieving for this incredible young woman, remembering what they called her. They said she had just this most contagious laughter, and when she walked into a room, she lit up that room. And I've heard that from so many people. I spoke to some of her family. One of the talking points of President Trump's speech was the deadly shooting of Ruby Garcia. Brandon Ortiz Vite admitted to killing Garcia and dumping her body along U.S. 131 in Grand Rapids. Trump said he spoke with her family, but Target 8 investigator Ken Colker spoke with Ruby Garcia's sister, the family spokesperson who says that never happened. Ken, what did she have to say? Ruby Garcia's sister says she's angry that her sister's death has become political. It's always been about illegal immigrants. Um, nobody really speaks about when Americans do heinous crimes. And it's um, kind of shocking why he would just bring up illegals. What about Americans who do heinous crimes like this? The sister, Mavi Garcia, spoke with the media days after the March 22nd shooting, but the family asked for privacy after that, including on the day of the funeral. But she responded immediately to a text from Target 8 after Trump's speech. Now Ruby's loved ones and community are left grieving for this incredible young woman, remembering what they called her. They said she had just this most contagious laughter. She says neither Trump nor anybody from his campaign has contacted her or anybody in her immediate family. She says her family is tight and she would know if that had happened. He did not speak with any of us, so it was um, kind of shocking seeing that he had said that he had spoke with us and, you know, um, saying, well, misinforming people um, live TV. Shocking. You know, I kind of stopped watching it. I, don't, I only seen up to that uh, after I heard, um, you know, a couple of um, misinformation that he had said. I kind of just stopped watching it. Brandon Ortiz Vite, who was in the U.S. illegally, has confessed to killing her sister and dumping her along U.S. 131. While police say the two were boyfriend-girlfriend, Ruby's sister says the two were friends and that the relationship had not gotten that far. She says she knew that Ortiz Vite was in the U.S. illegally, but did not know the details. I wish she would have stayed in Mexico. The focus should be on my sister right now, on really like um, who she was in life. I want people to remember how she was in life. She was a very happy person, a very generous person. She was always so happy, you know, could light up a, a room. Now Trump did get that part right, right? Yes. He did get one part right. <laughs> Ortiz Vite is scheduled to appear next in court on April 9th. He's facing five charges, including felony murder and carjacking.